Guys on Reddit, what's something girls shouldn't be insecure about? I personally want to find the person that told women freckles should be covered up and I don't want to hurt anyone, so I'll just have a strongly worded conversation with them. Maybe it's just me, but I have a serious weakness for freckles. From a dusting across the bridge of a woman's nose to head to toe ginger freckles. I think they are gorgeous. A lot of those beauty trends. Thigh gaps. That weird bikini gap thing. Stretch mark CTC. I genuinely don't care. Also apparently some are self conscious about freckles. I think they look stunning. Preferring to be more dominant slash confident in the relationship. Some men prefer it. I make decisions all day. Having a woman that is confident in making her own decisions is great. You don't need anyone's permission to do a damn thing that doesn't directly involve them. Asking someone's opinion or input versus their permission are two different things. Girls, ladies, women. Anyone hear this? Confidence is far more beautiful than any makeup or clothing. I love the inner beauty that radiates out. I've seen dolled up women that were rotten to the core. Love yourself and love will find you. Frizzy hair. It's really fun to look at. Some women seem to try to straighten or curl. But I think going with what your hair wants is best. Your hair refuses to be anything other than an afro. Rocket sister. I know there's always those shampoo commercials with impossibly silky hair. And that looks nice. But there are so many different ways to have beautiful hair. I think genuine hair is often beautiful hair. Okay. So one of my coworkers and I were having a casual conversation about my meeting his wife the previous evening. He told me that they had been married for 28 years and he still felt butterflies every time I see that frizzy head of hair walk toward me and I just melted at his expression. It was adorable. I dated a girl once who had a larger than average labia. She hated it. The first 3 months we dated she didn't want me to even look at her parts bc she was so insecure about it. We'd been playing with each other for ages so obviously I'd felt it and didn't mind. And the first time I saw it, I was about to go down on her and she started crying bc she thought I wouldn't be attracted to her anymore. I never minded though and we had a conversation about it and how it didn't matter. I'd noticed it before and it didn't turn me off at all. I loved her and a little labia wasn't gonna stop that. Farting and pooping. So many women hold their farts in or hide pooping in the dating phase or even early relationship. I'm miserable when I have to do that. If a dude can't handle a woman that needs to poop and fart. That's a great way to know we're dating a child. I find it really interesting that most girls I'm will have intimate moments with you before farting in front of you. Farting is actually more intimate from that perspective. I once dated a girl for 6 months and never heard a fart. WTF. What are you doing with them? Intelligence. Some of the smartest women I know will too often concede the room to loud but dumber men. I went on a couple dates with a girl doing a PhD in math. She really loved math. I've never heard someone speak so passionately and excitedly about math before. I had no idea what she was talking about for most of it. But that intelligence, passion, and depth of understanding, it was hot. I like girls who can be real around me when they feel comfortable and say whatever dumb stuff is on their mind. I feel like I'm actually connecting with someone. Cliche. But I think being yourself and losing the insecurity in general is the most attractive thing someone can do. Side note, as a guy I've noticed a lot of guys I associate with be super picky and critical about little things with women. Just want to let anyone know that if they are judging you on your little imperfections, they aren't worth your breathe. Everything about your body, you're not a supermodel and we aren't expecting you to be. We aren't male models either. Real life aren't inappropriate movies. My switch is average sized, and I'm fine with it. Unless someone sees it, when I'm cold, then I start babbling and trying to explain. Being more competent in something than colleagues, friends or significant others. The insecurities of others around you shouldn't affect your own behavior, and make you downplay your own abilities and strengths their weight. Personally, as long as they're not allowing themselves to get to 600 pounds, I don't care about how big or small they are. Weight fluctuates all the time, especially as we get older. Being assertive. There's nothing wrong with a person being assertive, man or woman. There's no reason to be self-conscious about competence and knowledge, 
and assertiveness is just the expression of those, not going to lie. Girls who can never make up their mind about things, are just annoying. I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with girls, who are a little shyer, or whatever, as long as it's in a healthy human range, and I'm sure some guys like that. But personally, I've always been into girls who are super confident, with personalities that fill up a room. I think a lot of women are taught to be wishy-washy, because the only examples of assertive women are actually domineering women. They take control of situations regardless of what others want. When an assertive person simply makes their opinion and knowledge known, they don't get pushed around. But as kids bossy is a slur against girls without differentiation. So girls retreat, and feel guilty for making their opinion known. There's nothing wrong with being more meek. But there's also nothing wrong with being assertive. It's when you're inconsiderate to yourself, by being a dormant or inconsiderate to others by being domineering, that it's a problem. I'm not a guy, but their eyebrows. Literally they are never ugly, and it's honestly more disturbing to see ultra thin ones. Also armpits. Okay all the shampoo commercials lead you to believe that shaved armpits are nice. But like, if you want to keep the hair, do it it's your body. Thank you so much for writing this. When I was younger, I was so ridiculously insecure about my eyebrows, as they aren't naturally shaped in a feminine way. I asked my mom to get me a pair of tweezers when I was 11. And next thing you know, I've plucked them to 50% of their original size. They were so short and thin, and made my entire face look ill-proportioned. I spent weeks after waiting for my eyebrows to grow back. And in the meantime I was trying to hide my face from people, and when they were looking at my face, I avoided eye contact, fearing that they'd be staring at my eyebrows. Young girls need to know that their natural brows are always fine, whether they're light, dark, thick, thin, a mana brow, whatever. I grew up with older sisters. There were so many things they would be insecure about, but I always assured them they shouldn't. Please don't be so stressed about your hair first of all, your weight. Please don't be so hard on yourself, your clothes, please. The differences are small to notice to most men, when you stress about those little things. Please take it easy. That we will cheat on you. Most of us find it hard enough to get into one relationship let alone multiple ones. If a guy is actively interacting with you, and you start to mention how you're insecure about your looks, don't be. Guys are wired for looks for better or worse. So if they are interested in you, and hanging around you, and you're okay with that, they more than likely adore your looks, and wouldn't change them for the world. See so many girls out there doubting their beauty, and it breaks my heart. Their noses. An old girlfriend of mine had some deep insecurities about her big nose. I thought it suited her face perfectly, and gave her a really striking profile and I tried to give her compliments whenever I could. She eventually ended up getting a nose job despite my protests. I told her I thought it looked great, even though inside I was crushed, because I felt like I had failed in my job as a boyfriend in making her feel confident. Honestly, damn near everything. It's sad seeing beautiful women treat themselves like crap, because their cheekbones aren't right or their thighs are slightly red or whatever. Ladies, guys do not care in the slightest about these things. They will love you for who you are. And the guys that do make a big stink about physical abnormalities aren't worth chasing. After in the first place.